We specifically focus on non-hormonal contraceptives, which can take a lot of different forms. That's actually a really, really big bucket that um, it can be methods that maybe uh, stop sperm production. It can be methods that um, stop sperm from swimming properly or fertilizing an egg. It can be contraceptives that can be maybe on demand. You can take them right before sex. Um, it can be contraceptives that have you know, long acting potential with uh, injectables or daily oral pills or things like that. You know, kind of a pie in the sky approach is a contraceptive that is the same pill and both men and women could take it uh, and have the same effect. Then the third bucket is vast occlusive devices. Um, so those are medical devices that act as a uh, reversible vasectomy of sorts. They're um, all trying to create this menu of options for men that um, you know, hopefully men and women can pick between a lot of different things and find something that works well for them and something they enjoy using rather than picking the least worst. Yes, I think that getting men more literate in reproductive health and contraception, um, I think that sets the stage for men accepting contraception. I also think it opens up relationships and uh, improves the satisfaction of relationships, both from a sexual and from a relationship standpoint. I think that better sex education can improve that dramatically.